About to be called in for the sixth race as the starter sends them underway for the great one race and stay at Punchestown champion Iron H Bumper. And it is Western Diego who sets off to make it from the Grey Tully Hill, close up on the inside, no time to wait, followed by Rathgall Boy. And then a dream to share, held up out the back in these early stages, alongside is King of Kingsfield, running the rail as a piece of heaven, and the back marker is it's for me. As they settle themselves, it's Western Diego, leading a couple of lengths, Tully Hill disputes second with no time to wait, tracked by Rathgall Boy. On the inside is a piece of heaven, in the hoops and white cap, a dream to share. And then King of Kingsfield and It's For Me brings up the rear. Up they go to the top of the hill. It is Western Diego and Derek O'Connor leading No Time To Wait. Who's moved off into a definite second place for Jamie Codd. Third is Tully Hill and Patrick Mullins. And then Rathgall Boy and Pat Taff as they go out over the mound. And these are followed by Peace of Heaven, Jack Hendrick on the inside of King of Kingsfield and Harry Swan, and then A Dream to Share, and John Gleason bidding for a big champion bumper double. It's for me, Jody Town and out the back as they continue downhill to the final 10 furlongs. It's Western Diego, the leader of No Time to Wait. Rathgall Boy improves on the inside of Tully Hill, then King of Kingsfield, A Peace of Heaven, A Dream to Share, and It's for me. Racing towards the far side. In front is Western Diego. Not so far clear of no time to wait. A couple of lengths to Rathgall Boy. Running off the bend, it's for me in the double green colors. And has now tanked its way up through the field to pick them all off. And it's it's for me. Moving from last to first to head Western Diego. No time to wait. Tully Hill on the outside of Rathgall Boy. Then King of Kings Field, a piece of heaven. And the back marker is a dream to share. Reaching the halfway stage in the race and stay at Punchestown Champion Iron H. Grade one bumper. It's for me. And Jody Town in lead from No Time to Wait. Jamie Codd and Tully Hill. And Patrick Mullins disputing the third with King of Kingsfield, who's improved for Harry Swan. And Western Diego, who shuffled back into gray colors. Then a piece of heaven. Rathgall Boy has lost its pitch with a dream to share. Continuing at the back of the field. Stopping quickly is Western Diego with less than five furlongs to go. It's for me by two lengths to no time to wait. Just in third is Tully Hill, King of Kingsfield fourth, and then Rathgall Boy, a piece of heaven. The back mark of the leading group is a dream to share and is looping all on the outside. And tailing off is Western Diego. Just over three furlongs to go. It's for me with a slender advantage over no time to wait, Tully Hill, King of Kingsfield, wide of them a dream to share, who's ridden up to join the leaders, then a piece of heaven, and Rathgall boys come under pressure as they tighten up, two and a half furlongs to go, and it's Tully Hill coming to the front from a dream to share, who quickly follows through, then a piece of heaven, it's for me next with King of Kingsfield, no time to wait, has faded, and then Rathgall boy, it's Tully Hill into the straight, leading a dream to share, who's about to get a reminder, with less than two furlongs to go, there's precious little between these two, they're locked together, heading for the final furlong, a dream to share and John Gleason nudged to the front from Tully Hill and Patrick Mullins. These two are away from King of Kings Field and inside the final 150 yards. It's a dream to share moving away from Tully Hill as they run up to the finish. It's a dream to share wrapping up an outstanding season in the race and stay at Punchestown Champion Iron H. Grade one bumper for John Gleason, John Kiley, and JP McManus. Tully Hill second, King of Kings Field third. Listen, well done. You, you, you've done it again on another massive stage. You got, you, there's an old head on young shoulders there. I know, very lucky, Tom. You know, he, he's, a, he's a very classy horse, you know. To do it again there, I thought he was tough today. So very, very lucky to be riding. What was the harder race? Uh, look, we just got racing kind of far out today. I thought today he really had to dig deep, you know. We got racing quite early and he showed how tough he was. His class really 
came out today, I thought. He is, a, he is a class horse, a tough horse, and he's proved he's versatile as well, ground-wise. Just some, some horse to be involved with. Really is, yeah. No, look, he's very versatile, you know, in fairness. He seems to handle all the ground, and every day he goes out, he, just, he, he does what he has to do. He's very impressive. Just before you go out, just give me a sense of what it's like going back to studying after riding a Cheltenham winner, and what it's going to be like after this. Uh, it's surreal, really, you know, but I have to get the head back in the books as well, but we'll enjoy today. How on earth do you do that? I just have to juggle the two of them together, and I'm enjoying it as well as at the minute, so it's great. Absolutely delighted for you, John. Well done. Get your very much. Thank you. A dream to share is winning trainer John Kylie joins me now. John, many congratulations. You got some reception and deservedly so when the horse came back in. Well, <laughs> Punchestown is always a great place to support us. Going back a long time, we had a winner here with Bally Hain, I think, in the eighties. He won this same race, and then Sweeps Hill, Lisa Fairick, and now this one. So it's nice. But some great days here, Carlingford Lock, of course, won the Labrooks Gold Cup a couple of few years ago. Yeah, yes, yeah. Well, we, we kind of specialise and try and keep the quantity rather than or quality rather than quantity. And you can give them a good bit of time. And when you have owners that are patient, it makes a big difference, you know. And both owners, Gleason's to start with, and JP. So, where would you get better? Both have been long-term supporters of John Kyle. Yes, back 30 years, probably. I don't know, JP's not, but Gleason's have been. He's dead before him, Bryant's dead. So now it is turning into ripe. <laughs> and John, dream to share, five bumpers. I don't think it's ever been done in Ireland. An Irish horse has never won five. I remember Simonon of Mick O'Toole's won four. Aries Girl of Half Flynn's won four. four Fasel Vega won four. There was one in England, uh, Turbo Lynn, but you're the first man to train a horse to win five bumpers. There's some achievement. Well, the spacing of the races came at the right stage from the, getting a break after the early in the year, coming back then for the Dublin Festival, space to Cheltenham. And then it's a nice space again here. Fairy House would have been soon. I don't think there was a race from Fairy House anyway. So it is lovely that this race comes along at this time. You started off in Tipperary, then followed up as winner's bumper at Roscommon. You took a break then. You had him cherry ripe and spot on after a good layoff. It was by design to win at the Dublin race. Yes, we aimed him at that. And now, once he came through that, he went to Cheltenham. And then after that, he went to... Uh, in here, I suppose, after when did you realise, John, you're a great stockman, you know your horse is inside out. When did you first realise that this could be very special? In Tipperary. I was in Tipperary to find out what he was without abusing him. And he seemed to win easy. So I thought we must have something now. And I think he beat a decent enough horse of Patrick's that day. But he had all the allowances. He, had, he was only a four year old. He had the jockey's allowance. And that's, I think, he had 18 pounds in, in allowances over the winner with a penalty. So, but uh, anyway, he came, he improved after that. And then something went wrong in Roscommon. It looked hard work to him. So we gave him a break after that. And now he's back. So he's going on his holidays now. And we look forward to next year. We won't see him back in the flat. One of your all. Uh, adversaries who you teamed up and wrote a lot of winners for you. Mick Canan was just saying to me, my God, he said, he uh, he's here, he's over there waiting for you. And John, he said to me before you go, here comes the great man, Mick Canan. Good to see you. Thrilled by, thrilled. Fantastic. Thrilled to see one another. Yeah. We had great days. I had an animal by over the river in a fancy enough maiden with John Ox and company. And I had a few fellas with me. And I said, I went in. And he looked at me, what, where are you going with your over the river? Kate Fisher was her name. I'm sure this fly took. <laughs> uh, Mick, Mick, before you go, you rode a lot, a lot of winners, sir, for John down through the years. Yeah, and we had a few in training with him. Yeah. And I had I got a great education between himself and Paddy around the gallop one morning. I got I got a few manners put on me. <laughs> oh now we appreciated your visit and how friendly his father was with Paddy. They did great journeys together. And Tom, you say, there's a whole slowdown. There's a Edmund Morris minor in front. <laughs> Mick, I was just saying, we were talking afterwards. We were just saying, you'd love to, if you were back riding, to get your leg across this lad on the flat. Looks a very exciting horse, yeah. So by next year, I would say. Go the other way now.
So we go what they owner wants. Yeah, yeah. We had a winner now in the Mulrine colours, I think. Well, no, it was. I found them colours after that you were looking for. There. <laughs> so look, wasn't it a great win today for Martin? Yeah, yeah absolutely. For Mulrine, yeah. very good ride too, and Indeed. good for Martin as well, also. Yeah, lovely. Some people we don't get appreciated for the hardship that goes into it. We all appreciate John Kiley here in Ireland, let me tell you, and that's always been the fact and always will be the case. One of the true legends of the game and the reception just told that today and truly deserved. John, many congratulations. Thank you again, Kevin. OK, and thank you, sir. See you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.